Hello guys. Uh, in this tutorial I am going to make a barrel and then uh, we'll unwrap it and we'll go into Photoshop and we'll uh, get a texture and put this uh, stickers on it and this text and uh, then we'll uh, add some lights and we'll get something like this. So let's begin. Let's go into File, New, General. I'm not going to save this. And let's add a cylinder. Shift A. Mesh, Cylinder. Uh, let's scale it on the Z axis. So S, Z. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. Um, first, uh, let's uh, delete the top and the bottom because if you don't, you can subdivide the this uh, this this circles. So go into press tab and go into edit mode. Press three on the keyboard and select this uh, faces, the top and the bottom, sh with shift and click and just uh, press X and delete the faces now press 2 on the keyboard to go into edge mode select and select uh, uh, hold alt and just click on one of these edges and then um, extrude it press E and then S right after E, E S and extrude it inside and then ES again extrude it inside ES again and again actually just uh, right here uh, just uh, press ALT M at center and that's gonna unite all the vertices in the center and we have to do the same thing on the other side so hold the alt click down and, and uh, just click on one of the edges to select the whole circle and then uh, E S extrude inside E S E S and here just uh, press alt M at center so you have this cylinder with two sort of su subdivided faces now. Um, now shade it smooth just right click and actually go into object mode by pressing tab and then uh, shade smooth and uh, apply a modifier right here in the key wrench add modifier and uh, add a uh, subdivided subdivision surface modifier right here okay if you go into edit mode by pressing tab now you should have something like this okay so now you're gonna be able to press control if you hold your mouse on this edge right here control R and then left click and then drag it outside but as you see the edge it's yellow orange don't drag it all the way to the edge, just drag it almost to the edge. Kind of right there, let me show you up close. You see that, so you get kind of a beveled surf, uh, corner. And do, do uh, on, uh, the same thing on the other side. Control R. Left click. And then just drag it out. Not all the way. Okay. Now press 3 to go to the side view and just drag this in the center with shift and uh, your middle mouse button and press Control R and that's gonna add a loop in the middle and just uh, spin your mouse wheel to add 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 of them, 5 loops, okay? and then just uh, left click and then right click so you should have this now go up here in this area on top and 
hold your mouse over there and um, press Control R and add another loop, left click and then drag it up, not all the way up, just about so, as you see. Then do the same thing on, on the bottom or the top, uh, depends on your point of view. Control R, left click, drag it up, and just uh, left click to set it in there. Okay, so now you got one, two, three, four, five loops. On on any of them, just uh, hold the Alt key down and uh, make sure you're in the edge select, and just click on it. And then now press Shift Alt and press on all of them to select all of them. Okay, uh, then now press Control B to bevel them and just bevel them to, uh, I don't know, just about so, a little bit, okay? And now press E to extrude, and then S to scale. Okay, so you should have something like that. Now press three to go on the side view and bring this thing or uh, this barrel over and uh, press control R have your mouse right here on top in this area left click drag it down and left click again and do the same thing again on the bottom until you can see the lines on top of it you see how they disappear uh, I left click by mistake. Let me do it again. Control R. And then drag it up until you can see the lines. And the same thing on the bottom. And then do the same thing for each ring. Okay, so now if you press tab and you go into the uh, object mode, you'll see you'll have something like this. Okay. Now, um, you can add less uh, rings or you can add no rings, uh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a matter of choice. And uh, now let's go into edit mode again by pressing tab and press 7 on the keypad to go into top view and now press 3 on the keyboard to go into a face select and have your mouse right in the middle and press C and then spin your mouse wheel to make the circle select bigger and just select all the faces just like that and then right click and press E to extrude it and then S to scale it I'm just giving it a, sh a shape so you won't be a complete cylinder. And I'm going to do that on the bottom as well. Control 7 on the keypad to see the bottom. Uh, make sure you double tap A to so deselect everything. And again C. And spin the wheel so it matches the, the bottom. And select everything. Then right click then E to extrude it and then S to scale so much I'm gonna drag it down space shift and R or I mean space shift and G and I'm gonna drag it down a little bit okay so now if you press tab again you should have something like this. 
and notice that you don't have a crisp um, edge right here so let's go into uh, edit mode by pressing tab again and hold your mouse right here control R left click drag almost all the way to the edge and then just left click, left click again let's do that on the other side as well control R left click and drag it almost all the way out and that's it double tap uh, A and now press tab to see how it looks and you should have a crisp edge uh, on the top and on the bottom as well okay guys so after you um, finish your model make sure you're in object mode and press control A and apply a scale before you unwrap it because if you don't apply the scale it's gonna stretch so okay so we're done with this barrel with the modeling now let's unwrap it so let's go into uh, UV editing you can also create a new window but uh, I'm just gonna do this <clears throat> so in UV editing um, basically you're gonna, we're gonna unwrap uh, the center which is basically the cylinder straight and then this edge and then the top and the bottom uh, portions the circles discs whatever you want to call them okay so look at the edge you can see that uh, right here is straight then here is straight here is beveled and here is straight again so we're gonna have to unwrap this side then this ring then this ring and the top and this is pretty easy um, first let's select the top uh, uh, hold alt down and just left click on it and then right click on it and mark seam okay let's do that on the bottom as well so hold alt left click right click mark seam and then it doesn't matter which one of these lines we're gonna have to mark one from the bottom all the way to the top so left click on it and follow it all the way to the top and hold control key down and left click on it so you should have selected and mark it as a seam as well okay then um, let's mark this right here actually we might want to add another uh, loop right here because we can't see it so let's do that it's real easy so just control R make sure you get it right there ah, I missed it control R there you go and just drag it down all the way I'm gonna add one right here as well okay let's do that on the bottom too so control R and drag it down and one inside here control R okay so now let's uh, let's take care of this uh, double tap A so nothing is selected just hold your um, mouse right there and uh, press alt and just click on it and left or uh, right click and mark seam then double tap A again then press alt and choose this one mark seam as well let's see how straight it is it's straight 
So let's do that on the bottom as well. Okay. Alt. Left click. Mark scene. Alt. Left click and mark scene. So now the whole thing is unwrapped. It's basically, I mean, it's uh, it's marked for seams. So all we have to do is unwrap it. Okay, so now let's select the whole thing with A. No, actually, let's uh, press L and it'll select the whole thing. And you'll see that it does uh, a, a, base, a basic unwrap in here. But uh, just press U and unwrap. And it'll unwrap it for you. You should have something like this. Okay. Um, now, uh, just to see the material, you'll have to go into shading. Click New and just leave it as is let's go back into UV editing and uh, go up here into the the menu and go into uh, UV and let's see it's right here. export UV layout okay and it's gonna ask you where you want it. Choose a folder and export it. Okay, now let's go into Photoshop and do our texture. Here we are in Photoshop. Let's open our file that we exported it a few seconds ago. Open. And I'm gonna open my file. Okay, so we got this file in layer one. So guys, I'm going to leave in the description a uh, couple of places that you can get your own textures. I mean, it's not that hard. All you have to do is search on the internet for rusty textures or chipped paint textures or anything like that that you can put on here. So I'm going to open a texture that I have. Okay, so this is the texture I got. As I said, I, I'll leave on a, a link in the description if you if you like this texture. Um, so I'm just gonna press Control A and select that all, copy it, Control C, I mean, and I'm just gonna paste it here with Control V, and I'm going to uh, drag it and drop it right underneath, right here, when it becomes blue, and you'll see it just like that. Now, um, Let's make uh, some kind of text on here. So I'm gonna add some text. Okay, you can uh, make your own text to, to whatever you, you would like. I'm just gonna type a few numbers. All capitals. Okay, and um, now let's go into um, free transform right here. Control T, so Control T, and rotate it. If you hold, I think it's Shift, it'll do it gradually, just like that, and then drag it over here, anywhere you like. But I, I like to put it in the center, maybe on top somewhere right here and uh, I'm gonna put a, a skull kind of like a radiation type of uh, skull a warning skull and uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well for to find uh, free PNG images but you can find anything you want on the internet so okay after you placed it after you place it just uh, press enter and now let's open the uh, some, something to put on here, like a skull. Um, any anything 
any kind of sticker or that you would like so I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description uh, you guys can go and pick up your own stickers so I, I already saved mine I'm gonna just open it okay so I have it open here in a different window a tab actually in a different tab so all I'm gonna do is uh, use the magic wand in Photoshop and I'm gonna click anywhere that's empty and then I'm gonna go to uh, select and just inverse the selection and I have the skull selected then I'm just gonna control copy it and I'm just gonna control paste it right here control V and obviously it's too big first uh, let's rotate it again with transform free transform right here control T and hold shift down okay and then hold alt and just drag it and then drag it down here somewhere in the middle okay if you want to put them on top and the bottom as well you can do that uh, just go uh, right here where the skull layer is just click on it and I'll copy it and paste it control C control V and then go into uh, transform again and make it smaller holding alt and drag it and place it somewhere in the middle on the top of the barrel and and then click on this layer uh, that the new skull was in and just uh, control uh, C and control V again and uh, use the transform tool control T and drag it right here okay all right so before you do anything uh, you're gonna have to de uh, delete the original layer that holds all the grids so th this would be layer one that's why I was mentioning it in the beginning so just select it and press delete and it's gonna you should have something like this and just save it somewhere where you, you would like oh yeah and make sure that you save it in the PNG format okay so here we are back in blender um, just click this button right here to open the texture and find your texture okay so I just opened mine and you're not gonna see it just yet because you need to go into um, shading and add the texture right here so just uh, press shift A and go into texture and then image texture and then drag uh, drag this node from the color to the base color and right here in this small drop down menu choose the barrel texture okay you should have your barrel ready okay so now let's uh, let's tweak the material a little bit I'm just gonna take the metallic way up and the roughness quite a bit down then I'm gonna give it a sheen and a clear coat well you don't have to do it. this is just a matter of preference so this is the barrel guys okay guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next one check out my channel subscribe like or unlike and we'll see you on the other side take care bye bye